everyone. I have a Timu haul here. I've got a video um, of some resin curing that will be coming out soon as it's finished curing and I can get it to uh, do the unmolding part and I'll get it edited and uploaded. This will probably come out before that though. So Make some stuff if I can get things. My apologies, I thought I had everything out of the bags already. This is a seven piece dice mold, has the lid and the spots line up. So hopefully, I don't know how hard that's going to be to get accurate and level pushed in with resin in there, but we'll see and find out. Try making some dice and Timu's price was $4.99. Amazon for the exact mold was Okay, these are magic water books. I got three different ones for my granddaughter. You literally just, and they come each with a pen, and I got three different books. You put water in here, and water comes down to the little felt tip, and you go over it, and it just shows the picture. There's only a couple of pictures in here. But it's something fun and cute for, you know, young toddlers to do. And it's, you know, safe, fun to play with. I guess there's a mark on that one. But there's a couple pages. This one I do believe is the Christmas themed one. And this is an animal one. couple pages of animals and this is a dinosaur one because she loves dinosaurs and dragons and animals in general I don't think I wrote down yes I did these were a dollar eighty nine each. So there's like seven pages to color, I think. One. Okay, maybe not. Four pages to color. But a dollar eighty nine each, it's not bad. And we already had one and I know she likes it, so I grabbed a couple other different designs so she can have, you know, multiple choices to play. Um I know it's not resin or craft related for us, but, you know, for little kids and stuff, if you have kids, grandkids that are young that you think might enjoy us, that's, you know, it's really easy. Um, let's see. Next we have are these, and they are holographic. I'm not taking them out because I don't like getting dust and stuff on the little holographic or my fingers, but it's a, a photo frame so you can actually put a picture in here um probably best to do it afterwards that way you can just glue it on the other side once you take it out of the mold but it's a holographic design in there 
around the outside of the frame. And it's small and big, and I'm trying to find on here. Okay, the small frame was $1.98. The big frame was $2.98. And the only thing I found on Amazon that was similar had these two plus a, paw, a holographic paw and a holographic uh, bone mold. So it was four molds for $12.39. The small one was $1.98 and the big one was $2.98. This is I'm trying to find where it's at on here. My apologies. Hand holding a skull. So there's like a, a zombie looking hand and it holds a skull. Yeah, I know it's kind of small. Um, it was five forty nine. Amazon had the exact same one for eleven thirty nine, eleven thirty three. Oh, sorry, like I said, I apologize for not having these ones. My other bag I got out. I thought I had these ones out already, but I guess not. This is a Bloody Hands. Earring mold and they're $1.49. Amazon had the exact same one for $4.63. Now these are one's a cat skeleton. 3D, and the other one's a dog skeleton 3D mold. Um, these were both $2.69 a piece. Amazon didn't have anything at all similar. And you can't really tell by just looking at the outside of this what it looks like anyhow, so I'm not going to bother unrattling all that noise. This is a gigantic snake. They call it a giant python mold. And there's a head here and the body, and it looks like it's sitting in a bowl. So it actually has like a little lip around it. So this one is different. I found a similar one on Amazon for $16.99, which I actually bought from Amazon. But it's a full coiled snake. This is... He's coiled up, but he, this one's sitting in a bowl, and it's the sizes. This guy's actually a little bigger than the other one that I have. Um, and like I said, this guy was eleven sixty nine. It's a big, chunky, hefty mold. Um, and the similar one on Amazon was sixteen ninety nine. And it's a coiled snake, but it doesn't have this. It kind of sort of just lays, I guess, on its bottom, and it can be done as you know resin or candle, because I do believe it might actually be listed as, you know, either or. White paint pens, $1.98, says it's waterproof. And it's 0.7 millimeter tip. And it's supposed to be white. Hopefully that's not leaking out because I see white on the tip already. Um, my digital timer is starting to die on me and I looked at information on batteries and I can literally get two um, digital timers because I can I use them for other things as well. Um, These were $1.97 a piece, and these ones actually use regular uh, batteries that you can get. The other one's the little round one, which is a pain to get in and out of. This is also a bigger display, so it should be easy to read, and I think that's probably a AAA.
But I bought two of them because I got I can use for multiple things. Dollar ninety seven a piece. That pen was done. Let's see. This is a holographic skull keychain mold, or it can be done uh, uh, since it doesn't have a hole in there already. It can be um, used for magnet or um, tags for luggage, keychain, whatever. It's $2.99. Amazon had the exact same one for $3.98. And it is holographic. Okay, stickers. These are 10 piece stickers for $1.98. This one's got like a flower kind of pattern. They're holographic. And these ones look like different kinds of hummingbirds. And there's 10 in there. And they're holographic. $1.98 a piece. And these ones are starting to fall out the bag, the container. Great. That's going to be fun. So, I ordered another thing of the rings, um, the O rings, because the other one came in a single bag and it was supposed to be in a container like this. And I wasn't going to sit there and go through all of them to figure out what sizes was what. Because it was a gigantic bag of mess. Um, these ones, I've got a few pieces that are starting to come out. But I can get them, you know, easily sorted since they actually came with something. I can make sure I get them back into the ones they belong in. It'll be easier to find for what, because different keychains can be different thicknesses as thicknesses and it's difficult finding the right size o-ring so I wanted one that was different sizes and this is a supposed to be stainless steel according to Timu. Um, this is supposed to be 1,390 uh, pieces of stainless steel o-rings for $3.14 and I didn't even look at look up prices on Amazon. This is a ring sizer for your finger So you can find out what size ring you wear. Now if I could just read what it says on there. I think it says eight. I really can't tell. <laughs> That's okay. I bought a ring sizer. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, U.S. Actually, that thing says it's like a seven and a half. Interesting. Didn't know they made half sizes. <laughs> Which makes sense because a seven is what I used to wear and it's too tight and eight is very loose on my finger. Seven. Seven, yeah. Okay, so that must be half size. Mm. Measures up. That's an eight and fits on the eight. Um, let's see. The 27-piece stainless steel finger size for rings was 224. Came with a little plastic one, too. Get these back in here. And the black ring sizer was $1.34.
There's two designs of this. This is the snake moon earrings. There's one and two, and they were both $4.04 on Timu. This is one style. And this is the other style. And they were both uh, $4.00. Sorry. Yeah, four dollars and four cents um on Timu each. Four dollars and four cents each. Amazon had both of them for twelve fifty nine. So you can buy both at the same time for twelve fifty nine or save four dollars and fifty one cents buying them individually on Amazon. I mean sorry, on Timu. And this is an, they call it an embossed cat mold, but it looks like a little skeleton cats. And it's a key ring mold. And this was $2.97 on Timu and $8.99 on Amazon. And these are dragon wing earrings, and it's pairs. There's six pairs. Um, let's see, that was dragon wing. Three ninety nine on Timu, and Amazon had them for seven ninety nine for the exact same mold that I found. I got some iron-ons. Just a girl who loves horror movies. This one's not as badly bent up as some of the other ones that'll be coming. And a big chucky one. And, uh, oy, I can't remember her name. Whew. And I love horror and I can't think of the name. <laughs> But these ones are iron-ons, and I didn't get the prices down for... Oh, wait, I did. They're $1.49 a piece. They were $1.49 a piece. So I think I have one last one. And I'm not taking this one out of the thing. This is the Tree of Life, and it's kind of sort of in the yin-yang design. There was nothing similar to this um, on Amazon other than a single holographic tree, but it had um, numbers going around for like a clock. This was $7.99 on Timu, and the one that was the holographic, just one tree with the numbers going around for a clock was $12.99, which I thought was actually, you know, pretty unique and pretty cool for a clock. That would be a cool clock. But this is the, they I think they have it listed as like a Tai, tai Chi tree. And it's holographic, but I'm not taking it out of the plastic. Give me a sec to move these back into this bag before I grab the next bag. I'll leave these ones out so I can go put them in my granddaughter's room and they won't get mixed up with my stuff.
Well, we're going to start with this one because I'm trying to look where that one is. This is, they have it listed as size 120, but um, on there it said ages 5 to 6, and I'm hoping this fits my granddaughter. I know she's only 3, um, she's almost 4, but she's literally taller than several 5 and 6 year olds that I have met and seen, and 7 and 8 year olds on some cases too, because she's extremely tall for her age. She's like in the 98th percentile for her height. Um, and she's finally getting some weight on her too. She was a little on the thin side for a little bit, but she's finally getting some weight on her. So I'm hoping this fits her and it'll be something cute. I can get a little, if it's cooler here, we live in the South, so it depends on how the weather is going to be come Halloween. Just something she can run around the house in, play in, or we can go out to eat. And if it's cooler, we can get our little long sleeve black uh, top to put on underneath and leggings, black leggings to go with it, or white, whatever, you know. But I thought this was just cute and adorable. Can't believe she's almost four. And that was eight eighty nine on Timu and nothing I could find on Amazon. This is another one. This is a holographic. And it's a, they call it a Halloween ghost mold. And it says Boo. And you can definitely see it is holographic. Um, this was $7.19 on Timu. And they didn't have anything at all similar on Amazon. But this is a, I mean, this is, you know, two hands here, and I mean, it's its big. So I figure that'll be like, you know, a cute little tray mold. I gotta put that back in the plastic shortly. Um, this is, um, I'm not taking them out because I don't want them falling everywhere. They're uh, like bat sequin uh, or um, not really glitter, but it's just some pieces that you can put in resin. It, they like I honestly don't remember how they had it listed I think I just wrote down sequins on accident because they some of them glittered the 15 grams of bats was a dollar 99 the 15 grams of mix Halloween is a dollar 97 and there's stars spiders pumpkins I think that's it. Stars. Oh, there's some bats in here too. So stars, stars, pumpkins, some spiders, and some bats. And this one's just bats. So those will be good. Some good uh, fillers. This is a Halloween coffin storage box. It was ten forty nine on Timu. So there's the bottom, and the top says, never trust the living. I'm hoping that comes out the correct direction. My dyslexia throws me off, so sometimes it's hard for me to tell if it's right or not, because it rarely looks correct to me anyhow. Um, the coffin was 10.49 on Timu. And eleven ninety eight on Amazon for the identical. This is one I've had my eye on for a while. I'm going to it makes a piggy bank, but in the shape of a unicorn head. So I'm going to be creating weird looks used. I'll have to see if I can clean that off. But I'll be creating my granddaughter a little piggy bank out of a un eh, from a unicorn head. Thought that was cute. It was... My back is killing me. $9.99 on Timu. 
and the exact same one on Amazon was $13.99. And it used to be higher up than that on um, Amazon. That's why I hadn't bought it yet, because that was a bit on the high side. This is another one of those scene molds. This is the elephant, and it has like a setting sun with some birds flying, a giraffe, a tree, a rhinoceros, and I think a smaller tree in the background of the elephant. So that's going to be fun. This was $4.94 on Timu. Amazon has it for $10.52 for the cheapest price I was able to find for the identical mold. This is a 3D snapping turtle. Um, it was $4.49 on Timu. And similar, they have the cartoon one from um, one of the ones that I think Mario fights in the castle. I can't remember the name of the show, the, car, the, the game. Um, Bowser, I think. I could be wrong. But they have a similar one um, for $13.99 on Amazon. This one is supposed to be a realistic snapping turtle. And I can see from the, the way the mold is that his mouth is open. And it's going to be an interesting one to get resin in to all the spots. And keep him, make sure he's nice and level. I have to reset my, my table because my table, we had it level. We moved some things around and now it's on level again. I noticed after I started the, uh, the pour I, I'm in the process of right now. These are 3D lighthouse molds. This one, the bigger one, is $3.14. There's windows, like rocks at the bottom. Can't quite tell what that's supposed to be on the side there. There's a little window, another window. Might be the door and the door open or something. But the big uh, 3D lighthouse was $3.14 and I got two smaller ones. Um, they were $1.79 a piece. I don't think these ones even have windows or doors. They're just rock base and then the straight up and then the little lighthouse kind of looking top. This one's got a different big base to it. Rocky outcrop base. No windows, windows and doors that I can see. Those were $1.79 a piece. Um, the only thing I found on Amazon that was similar is the big one. They had this, an identical one, for $10.95, or they had a five-pack, which actually had this, these two, and two others for uh, $13, I'm sorry, $19.99, $19.19. So there was like a five-piece lighthouse for $19.19. But this was $3.14 for this one and $1.79 each for these two smaller ones. Now, I have a bear mold, but this one is different, and I like the pattern, so I got it to give it a try. Um, this was $4.49. Amazon does not have anything like this style. This is a different style than the one I have and made as a gift for my mother-in-law. And this is a different wolf one. This is a howling wolf one with a, a little scene in it. So that's going to be fun trying to do this little guy as well. Um, the bear was $4.49 and the wolf was $4.49. Let's see the last few things in here. 
right? Yep. Okay. So we have another horror iron on for a dollar twenty nine with Freddy. Sweet dreams. Not on the holographic. Let me move this guy. I just put a cover over it so I don't get dust or anything in him. Hopefully. And these were, I got this one as one set. The Castle Iron-On. This was 98 cents. But I'm going to actually put them in, um, going to try them, putting them on uh, coasters. And doing a coaster and tray set. Because these were three for 98 cents. And then this one was $1.48 for the bigger one. Which is all crinkled up. I'm hoping it will come out. And an additional one. So that way I could do a four coaster. And a tray set. So $1.48 for these two. And 98 cents for these three. And they match. And they called it uh, like a castle or something. I'll... Do my best to find the links to get them added in. And then the last two is... These are supposed to be chameleon... I don't know if they're supposed to be sticky or they're just... This is green to purple. 30 by 21 centimeters. Which 30 centimeters is 11.8 inches and 21 centimeters is 8.26 inches. I don't know if they're going to be usable as crinkled up as they are. This one is supposed to be royal to purple. I don't even know if you can, I barely can see a hint of a difference. So I honestly don't know if. I wouldn't buy these again, and this one's supposed to be green to purple, and I don't even, I don't see any change. Um, that was $1.79 for one, and a, for the royal to purple, and the green to purple was $1.99. The royal to purple was $1.79, the green to purple was $1.99. And that is all. Thank y'all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. And I shall have some videos coming out soon after this one. I've got, like I said, I've got one coming up. Which will, I'll be able to unmold Friday. And can get it uh, posted Friday. 